I'm Steve, co-founder of M Technologies. I'm here in Mali for the second World Community Power Conference. And today we are in Bankumana to see a community mini grid. That's why I can't join you for the demo day. Have a great evening. Hello demo day, this is Henry. I'm here in Nigeria to meet a couple of our customers. What you can see and hear behind me is the diesel generator that is powering the hotel I'm staying in. It has to run at least once a day. Electrification is a big problem here. I want to be part of the solution. Sadly, these guys couldn't join us today, but I'm here and I am excited to tell you about what we're up to. My name is Svet and I'm the CEO of AMP Technologies. And these are some of our customers. Our product's been used for a couple of years already by some household names like Eon and Engie. What are these guys actually up to? I probably don't need to tell you that still today, about a billion people globally don't have access to electricity. I probably also don't need to tell you that over half of them are in Africa. But what many people don't realize is that this problem is being solved. It's being solved by our customers. They're building mini-grids, providing clean, renewable energy across the continent. And these deployments are growing fast. The International Energy Agency projects that by 2030, 450 million people globally will be getting their power through mini-grids. Put this another way, more people will be getting connected to clean, decentralized energy than will be getting connected to the existing energy systems. So, easy, right? Problem solved, we can kind of go home, pack up. Let's slow down. Unfortunately, running these remote systems is really hard. Owners and operators often have no idea what's going on at their remote sites. In a recent study about mini-grids built in the last 10 years, it was found that 65% are either not operational or have an unknown status. I mean, isn't that nuts? 65%? That's not a way to run proper, serious infrastructure. Maybe it's nuts and maybe it shouldn't be that surprising. It is difficult to get out to these places. This is our former colleague, Mohammed, on his way to a mini-grid in Tanzania. Mohammed would often have to drive five or 10 hours in conditions a lot like these to get out to these sites. And when physical access is this difficult, clearly it's critical to have proper remote operation of these systems. But here we get to another problem. For one reason or another, the manufacturers and vendors of these components have decided that they need to come up with their own proprietary piece of software for every single bit of kit that they build. And sometimes that does the job, and sometimes it's maybe all that you need. But in a world where these energy systems are getting more sophisticated and more complex, if you're an operator who's running a whole fleet of these, this doesn't work for you, you end up in a mess, you end up one of the 65% who have no idea what's going on at their sites. And this is where AMP comes in. AMP is a state-of-the-art, vendor-agnostic online platform for monitoring and management of mini-grid systems. AMP allows our clients to get a view of operations across their portfolio. It allows them to get real-time operational insights of what's happening at each one of their systems. And by that, it allows them to save 30% of their costs. By cutting down the number of side trips they need to make, by extending the lifetime of the systems that they're running, and by allowing them to provide a fundamentally higher quality of service to their customers. How do we do it? How does AMP work? It's pretty straightforward. There's a lot under the hood, of course. But in a nutshell, we gather the data from the systems that our customers are operating. We analyze it, and then we provide them with operational intelligence in real time. Okay, so where is the secret sauce in all of this, you might be wondering. Well, we're unique in that we gather together data streams from the full set of components at these mini-grids, from generation and storage on one side, through to smart metering. And we apply the technical expertise that we've gathered through years of experience in this market to provide a truly 
effective remote management solution for our customers. Something else that I think is quite straightforward is our business model. A typical mini grid that one of our customers is running is costing them about $1,000 a month to operate. We know that AMP can provide them a saving of 30% on that. And currently, we take a small component of that in monthly SaaS fees. Of course, there's plenty of upside opportunity here. But even right now, one of our typical customers who's running, let's say, 25 grids, is generating $12,000 of recurring annual revenues for us. We're wrapping up our pilot stage. We've got a great set of customers, a very exciting pipeline, and we're scaling faster than expected. So to grow further, we're looking to raise 400,000 euros to make sure that our product and technical operations stay far ahead of the competition, to build on-the-ground presence in key high-growth markets like Nigeria, and to ensure that our customer service continues to delight, our, delight people, especially as we scale in Francophone Africa. And of course, we've got our sights set on a much bigger prize, a global scale-up fueled by an expansion in Southeast Asia and beyond. And if Stina and Hendrik didn't quite manage to convince you, take it from me. We have got the team to deliver this. We previously worked at the off-grid solutions, building and operating mini-grids across Africa. So we know the sector inside out. But what's more, we have an intimate understanding of our customers and their needs, because we used to be one of them. And if you take away just one thing, it's that smart energy is happening. And it's happening in Africa even faster than anywhere else. The energy systems of tomorrow are being built from the ground up with mini-grids as the building blocks and with AMP as the brains that power it. So join us as we power up tomorrow. Thank you very much.